I think a lot of us expected this to be the case when uh, when you were released by Buffalo. Did, did you think this is where you'd end up? And can you talk about your relationships with uh, some of the people that are here? Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, when I saw Dave's got the job um, and then I got released, it was definitely one of the teams that uh, first came to, to mind, just having that familiar, familiar, familiarity, there we go, with Dayball and uh, – and Bobby, um, I'm just happy it all worked out. Zach Rosenblatt, NJ.com. Hey, John, how's it going? Good, how you doing? Good. Um, can you talk about your relationship with Bobby Johnson and, and, and what how close you guys are? Yeah, so it started um, in Oakland. I was a rotational guy, and Bobby did the goal line um, plays so he would he would every week he would draw up the goal line plays and um, he started uh, looking out for me and uh, you know putting me in as fullback or tight end or uh, basically just looking out for me putting me in anywhere he could and uh, even went out in f uh, motion and, and ran a couple routes um, but uh, you know it's every fat man's dream so we're, our, our relationship started from there Thanks. Paul Schwartz, New York Post. Hey, John. How you doing? Good, good. Um, I know you played um, mostly guard, but um, <clears throat> certainly some center. And um, Giants say you're coming here to play center. Can you talk about that transition? Um, is that a good place for you at this point in your career? And do you see this as maybe something that can be a long-term thing? Yeah, so go going back to Oakland, my Oakland days, I had a guy, Rodney Hudson, who was top tier, one, two center in the last 10 years. Um, and I got to pick his brain and, and learn from him and, and Mike Tice and Tim Holt. And I took those four years of being a, a rotational guy, backup guy, to learn a position that I didn't play in college. Um, in college, I played tackle. I played both tackles and left guard. Um, so from those first four years, I got to learn center and I really fell in love with it. Just being able, just the, the, the responsibility that's on your hands to come in every week and everything's basically on you. No, you gotta know the defense, you gotta, you gotta make all the calls for the guys around you. And um, I take a lot of pride in, in knowing that stuff. Do you think it's gonna be a hard transition to be a starting center? Not at all. Um, I've been in a lot of people's ears for a lot of years trying to trying to get into the center position. And uh, I, I honestly think it's my best position. And um, I'm just really excited to finally get to, to, to show what I got. Thank you. Thank you. Jordan Renan, ESPN. Hey, John, congratulations, man. Thanks, man. So when you become a free agent was that your goal to be a center like is that something that you you looked at and said oh yeah I really want to do this or were you oh were you, you were just saying okay what's the best opportunity it was definitely uh I wanted to play center um there's you know there's other teams that are talking and um just you know I, I believe in myself and I believe that the center position is is where I'll be the best. And um, thankfully, Bobby and Dayball agreed and, uh, and we got it to work out. What do you know also about this organization and their desire to sort of rebuild the offensive line? It's been a work in progress for a long time here. So I'm curious, what, what do you know about that? What have you kind of been told about what the offensive line is going to look like here moving forward. Yeah, I mean, not much, but um, it's kind of probably the same situation as when I went to Buffalo my first time. Um, they were struggling off, uh, up front in the offensive line-wise, and, and our 2019 free agent O-line group, we understood going in that this team had potential if we had, that, if we had the quarterback upright. And I, I believe the same thing um, watching Danny Dimes play. I believe he's going to be a, a really good quarterback, especially if he has some time. 
Thank you. Last one here, Tom Rock, Newsday. John, do you do you have any kind of relationship with uh, Mark? You're going to be playing next to him, it sounds like. And uh, you know, what do, what do you guys? What do you the two of you bring? It seems like there's a lot of physicality, a lot of uh, a lot of intensity that you guys can bring to this line. So I first met Mark in uh, 2015 um, at the East West Shrine Game. Um, got to know him there. Uh, I believe we're we're definitely pretty similar mentality wise, especially on the field. Um, and being able, you know, we've been in the league for seven years now. Uh, so watching film, whenever you know a guy, it's always makes film a lot easier to watch. So you get to watch them, especially if you guys are playing at the time. I was playing the same position as them. So I know he's a hell of a player, and I know he's a he's a nasty little guy. So uh, we both got that in common, and um, I've, we're both excited. And uh, yeah.